This video will be a continuation on our series on the spinal cord and this video is going to cover our spinal nerves and where all of our fibers go. So let's begin with our ventral root. Here we see rootlets that come together to form our ventral root. Remember our ventral root is going to carry motor commands to our peripheral nervous system. Whereas our dorsal root, you can also see rootlets here, our dorsal root is going to come in and then disperse out through those rootlets. And don't forget we have our dorsal root ganglion. So our dorsal root will carry sensory information into the central nervous system. Those are really our only two areas in which we have division of our afferent and our efferent commands. After these sections on our spinal nerves, these two guys come together here to form an actual spinal nerve. So our spinal nerve is going to carry mixed information in that our spinal nerve and everything outwards is going to carry both sensory and motor commands. So now we're going to take a closer look at some of those spinal nerves. So what happens after our spinal nerve diverges? We are going to look at our dorsal ramus, which is a mixed nerve. Our ventral ramus, which is a mixed nerve. And our rami communicans, which come out to this sympathetic chain ganglion, which carry mixed sympathetic fibers. So let's take a closer look at those. So first we're going to look at our dorsal ramus. Our dorsal ramus is going to come off our spinal nerve and come to the muscles and the skin of our posterior body wall. Your ventral ramus will then come out and curve around to innervate the muscles and the skin of the lateral and anterior body walls. Along with the skin and muscle of our anterior and lateral body walls, our ventral ramus is also going to innervate the skin and muscles of our limbs. Finally, we can see our Ramy communicans in this picture, but it will be easier to explain their function on our next slide. So I love these next two pictures. They are great because they show us where everything is going, where everything is coming from, and whether we're talking about sensory or motor. So here, as we begin in our lateral and anterior gray horns, we are going to send commands out. So this is our motor picture. And here's where we see our Ramy communicons coming into play. So here with our visceral motor nuclei, we are sending visceral motor signals. These signals are going to innervate our organs, which is why we call it visceral. So these are actually going to be sympathetic fibers. They carry sympathetic information. And we can also see sympathetic fibers here. Okay, so we can go directly to our organs over here or we can double back and come to our skin through our dorsal and our ventral rami. So our rami communicans or our communicating rami are really going to carry sympathetic visceral motor commands. It's also going to carry sympathetic sensory information. We'll get to that on the next slide. 
but we're carrying autonomic information in or out of the spinal cord. I also like this picture because it shows us our dorsal root going to the skeletal muscles of our back and our ventral and our ventral root going to the skeletal muscles of our body wall and limbs. This picture shows us the same thing except we are carrying sensory information from our organs through our rami communicons and into our posterior gray horn. So this picture is showing us sensory information. We can also bring visceral sensory information in from our ventral and dorsal rami um, and we can and we can carry somatic sensory in from our body wall and limbs or somatic information in from our posterior body wall and limbs. So these are just great summary pictures. If you have any questions about your spinal nerves and what they innervate, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.